what to expect on the day of the egg retrieval. Now the egg retrieval is a very important step in your fertility journey. Knowing what to expect can ease a lot of anxieties. I am Dr. Sneha Sathe. I am Clinical Director and Fertility Specialist at Nova IVF Fertility in Mumbai and Navi Mumbai. Egg retrieval is also known as OPU or oocyte pickup. So this egg retrieval is scheduled after your ovarian stimulation, wherein you take stimulation injections for 10 to 12 days and you undergo follicular monitoring. Once your follicles are ready, your doctor will schedule the trigger shot. Now the trigger shot is typically given at night. After taking the trigger shot, the egg retrieval is planned 34 and a half to 35 and a half hours later. The trigger injection usually is HCG or agonist. If your doctor is considering a fresh embryo transfer, it will likely be an HCG injection. And prior to this HCG injection, your blood sample would have been collected to check for the progesterone level. If a freeze-all cycle is being planned, there is no need to check the progesterone level. Now, the day after the trigger shot, that is the day prior to the egg retrieval, there are no injections. On the night prior to the egg retrieval, you will be asked to stay fasting, say after 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock at midnight. On the morning of the egg retrieval, you have to stay fasting and you have to reach the clinic at a particular time that has been given to you. Usually, we ask the patient to come with the husband on the day of egg retrieval, of course, because he needs to give a fresh semen sample. In case the husband is not available and IVF is planned with the frozen sample, then you can of course come with your uh, mother or friend or any other relative. So on the day of egg retrieval, you have to reach the clinic on an empty stomach. So I usually tell my patients that they just need to brush their teeth, take a bath and come to the clinic, not to have even water or a cup of tea or coffee. If you are on any medication like uh, medication for thyroid or medication for high blood pressure, you can take this medicine with a sip of water early in the morning. You need to avoid drinking an entire glass of water. But this you definitely need to discuss with your uh, particular, with your consultant. It is always better to wear comfortable clothes, easy to wear and easy to remove. You should not be wearing any makeup, any jewelry, cosmetics or perfumes. The same goes for your husband. When you reach the clinic, our front desk staff or our nursing staff will be there to receive you. You will be given a changing gown. After that, you and your husband will need to sign some consent papers. The nurse will be taking an IV line, will be giving you an antibiotic trigger shot and then the full dose of the antibiotic and also an antacid and anti-emetic as pre-anesthesia medication. Once everything is ready, once the anesthetist arrives and once our laboratory is ready and your consultant also has arrived at the IVF center, you will then be asked to pass urine, empty your bladder and the nurse will take you to the operation theatre. Now inside the operation theatre, the anesthetist will be present, the embryologist will come in to witness as in she will ask you to read out your name or tell your name, complete name, so that she can tag this to the papers and dishes that she's got in the IVF laboratory. Once this witnessing is done, you will be asked to lie down on the operation theatre table. The anesthetist will speak to you and will be giving you anesthesia. Now this is short general anesthesia, light anesthesia and we usually expect that you will be out of anesthesia as soon as the procedure is over and we shift you out. So once the anesthesia is given, you are uh, given a position to plan the oocyte retrieval. After draping and painting, we give you proper position and the egg retrieval procedure itself is done under ultrasound guidance. A transvaginal probe is used which is passed through the vagina and a small needle is used to aspirate your follicles. The egg retrieval procedure itself is done under transvaginal ultrasound guidance. We use a small needle to aspirate fluid from your follicles and this follicular fluid is passed on to the IVF laboratory to look for oocytes. Uh, the procedure typically takes anywhere between 10 to 15 to maximum 20 minutes. As soon as the procedure is over, you are almost about to get out of anesthesia and we shift you out of the operation theatre into the recovery room. Now in the recovery room, you will be on IV fluids and you will need to stay in the hospital for about 3 to 4 hours. Over a period of time, like as, as you're getting out of anesthesia, maybe an hour or two later, you will be given some oral fluids or, or initially some water to drink and maybe then uh, biscuit and tea or some soup or juice to have orally. Once we are sure that you are able to tolerate oral fluid and you are comfortable not feeling giddy, your pulse and BP are monitored and everything is fine, the nurse will help you to go and pass. Once you have passed adequate urine and you are feeling comfortable, you will just be asked to lie down and relax for a couple of more minutes or maybe an hour, hour or two. Before discharging you home, the doctor should ideally come and speak to you and uh, we should be telling you the number of eggs that we retrieve your husband would have given a sample by then, so how was the sperm sample? Usually about 4 hours after the egg retrieval, we also know the mature oocyte status. So if you are in the hospital till then, the doctor will be telling you the mature oocyte status. 
at the time of discharge you will be given your post operative instructions the list of medicines that you need to be on and uh, your diet advice so usually what i tell my patients is that they need to have plenty of oral fluids they need to take light diet on the day of egg retrieval and normal diet on the days after the egg retrieval uh, most women do go back to work immediately on the next day but then this you need to decide on your level of comfort and also it depends largely on the number of eggs that were retrieved if there is a risk of hyperstimulation we usually advise you to take rest at home for another 2 to 3 days uh, if a fresh embryo transfer is planned your doctor will call you back either on day 3 preferably on day 5 for a blastocyst transfer and even if a freeze all cycle has been planned ideally we ask you to come back to the clinic on day 5 to see how you are doing and also to give you an update about your embryos that's all about the oocyte pickup so this video must have given you an idea of what to expect and after watching this video if you have any doubts or questions or concerns you should definitely speak to your doctor about those